Thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Hello and welcome to our podcast Inspiring Ideas. I am Madhu and my co-host is Abhinav Raji. We are lifelong learners and wanted to unearth the secret sauce of successful people across the globe and package it up to the community. We firmly believe each episode will inspire you to find your passion and follow your dreams. In this episode we have a doctor who is also a social media influencer. Since 2018 through her writing positive quotes and experiences about life she has reached close to half a million fan following. She writes 3 to 4 times a day and her reach is phenomenal as it spans across geographies and she gets hundreds of messages every single day on how to navigate life during distinct times. Ladies and gentlemen please welcome Dr. Bhavna Gautam. It all begins when you believe Hi Bhavna it's a real pleasure to welcome you today for the show thank you so much for being with us let's start with uh, bhavna's life journey of becoming a dentist moving to australia and then the quest and the passion for writing and slowly getting a huge fan following in the social media and then creating an impact to the people i'm very very much intrigued with your life story can you please share about for the audience See um it all begins when you believe this tagline is actually very close to my heart I feel like my entire life is actually driven by it because unless you believe you cannot achieve anything so when you start believing in something you eliminate you know any factor of doubt in your life and that's exactly what happened to me as well Um I moved to Australia when I was you know fairly young. Mm. I knew no one here. Mm. I was all by myself. I was inexperienced. But I had this uh, self trust in me that I can make it happen. Beautiful. I had this uh, trust uh, in the you know the process of life that whatever is going to happen is going to happen for good even though I might have to face a lot of challenges. And I had this trust in the almighty that you know what if he has created us he is going to take care of us so i think uh, uh, all that you know combined together gave me a lot of strength and uh, when i came here to australia i actually as i said i had nothing even my qualifications were just piece of paper so going from there starting from scratch mm. and you know accomplishing all my goals uh, i think it wouldn't have happened if i did not believe in myself absolutely absolutely i think you're echoing some of the thoughts which uh, each one of us have gone through uh, at some point in time or the other when when you know there are a lot of migrants like uh, us coming and really understanding the whole gamut of uh, the country and how what we're going to do here it's isn't it a wonderful thing that we need to have that self belief and also have that um, almighty thinking so that everything will be taken care of that's the one absolutely thing. yeah and and you can you know uh, it fits in uh, every area of your life you know it's not just uh, your professional goals but in your personal relationship or you know if you want to inspire anyone you need to believe in what you are doing exactly create yeah. radiate that positivity all through which is going to you know give us <laughs> inspiration for people that's awesome i'm hoping so <laughs> yeah Can you walk us through the day in the life of Bhavna, a dentist, a parent, a writer, a mentor, a coach? You know, I feel that we all have 24 hours in a day. We cannot have more time, but what we have to do is make ourselves available for that time. And that's what I try to do to fit in all my roles in my day. My day does start quite early. I um, you know, my day starts before 5. and that's uh, the time when i spend with myself mm. and i think that's an absolute essential time in anyone's life mm. because most of the people i feel that uh, they miss that time in their life where they spend those moments which are so precious moments mm. to you know to revisit yourself to know what you really want to do in life mm. because after that time you know i'm also a part of the chaos okay. so i um Uh, and and after that you know when i'm doing any of my role whether i'm a dentist or whether i'm a writer or a mother or you know i'm i'm a coach i'm actually totally involved in it so I, you know to do if you want to 
you know, have a best output, you have to input the best. Yep. And that's what I try to do in my every role. Um, although, you know, my clinical day might go from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m., mm. I will try to compensate somehow mm. to make sure my other responsibilities or my other roles are fulfilled in the best of way. It's a balancing act that we all do. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> we have to, you know. Yeah. Beautiful. I think uh, it's very interesting that you say that you're actually getting up early in the morning, even prior to five. There's always a thought um, from people that they want to get up early, but there's something or the other which will pull them from not doing it regularly. And if you start doing it, and there is always that thinking that you can have individually, which will actually set you apart in terms of the clarity that you're going to get and how you are going to go through the day by giving your best so I completely agree with your point there. And thank yeah, you. And, and also, you know, when you are up early, you feel that you have more time in your day. Mm, that's true. And also, you know, the connectivity you can have in that early morning time, you won't find the same level of connectivity any other time in the day. Yeah. You know, every time of the day has a, you know, meaning, has a purpose. Mm. So that morning is all about, you know, rejuvenation. It's about, you know, sunrise. So you, 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 you are also rising along with it. That's a beautiful analogy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Thank you. I think, I think Bhavna, one of the things that I got out of it is that you get up in the morning and you first connect with your own self. Okay. Absolutely. Get some time for your own self and then start your day. So that's really yeah. good. Uh, Bhavna, let's deep dive on your writing journey. Your mission is to inspire people. What impact do you want to have with the society? So my writing journey actually started when I was very young. I, I, I think I was maybe six or seven years old when I started writing. Wow. Okay. And, uh, and I actually found my writings just recently going back 20 years. And, the, and I was actually very, very surprised that my writing hasn't changed. Mm. So 20 years ago, I was writing inspirational. And today also, I'm just, you know, on the same path. And I did not even remember what I wrote at that time. So I think this was something which I felt I was blessed with or I was gifted with. Mm. And I want to use that, you know, special gift I have mm. to, you know, inspire people to change their life in a way which can make a difference to their life. Mm. And, uh, you know, build a, a positive environment in everyone's life whether they want to achieve something in life or whether they want to, you know, have a, um, improve their relationships. That's true. Um, I, I, I think that, uh, you know, um, my, my writings can somewhere fit in their life and help them. I think it also gels with uh, your profession of uh, being a doctor, you know, making that impact in people's lives as well. So it kind of goes hand in hand. Yeah. Absolutely. So, um, you know, uh, when we were talking about the different roles, I think, uh, um, as a dentist, uh, I am trying to help people. As a mentor, I'm trying to coach people, give them a direction. Uh, as a mother, I'm trying to raise a child into a good human being. Mm. And as a writer, I'm trying to inspire. Um, so my experiences of life or my uh, you know, other roles, they actually help me to write. Yeah. And my writing becomes an inspiration for me to bring it into my other roles. So there's a great deal of overlapping there. Uh, and I think it's just wonderful to, you know, be in different roles, but still you are able to focus on the same uh, pathway in life where you want to be an inspiration. Excellent. Excellent. And we are inspiring the next generation. So we're not creating just the clones of ourselves, which is... Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. So Bhavna, you write on so many different topics. Like what's your thought process behind it? Like, do you get up in the morning and you have like, okay, I'm going to write on something today or is it just comes naturally um, to you like it comes naturally um uh, i think a lot of it comes from my own experience um my own journey of life i can relate uh, every thought to something which has happened very closely to me or around me yeah um, and and sometimes it can be just you know uh, i'm just randomly you know i see something happening and i feel that you know um, you know, it, this, this thought just comes to my mind. Interesting. Do you have any long-term goals related to impacting people's life? And how do you think you're going to approach it? Okay, so I feel that uh, in my um, materialistic journey of life, which, you know, uh, where I had my personal goals or professional goals, 
I had set to a destination, okay, so I want to reach there. But I felt that once I reached there, I felt that was the end. You know, okay. there was there was no charm to it. But this journey, which I more call as a spiritual journey, I feel that this journey is endless. So I don't want to set any fixed goals. I rather would like to go with the flow and see what life wants to bring out of it. That's a beautiful perspective to it because we are, we are talking about a materialistic life where people set goals and achieve versus uh, something that goes beyond that materialistic world where you keep going on and on and on so that you, you create an impact for people's lives. That's very interesting. So I haven't heard about that concept before, to be honest. But that's very, very interesting to hear. No, I think and also it's really good because a lot of time we're just running behind our dreams. That's fantastic. But, you know, we're not maybe enjoying the present. And I think Absolutely. that's really important as well. So I think that's really well said. Um, Bhana, next question is, I've done a lot of research on you. I've gone through your blogs, I've checked your Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. And that reveals that you have made a huge difference through your words to people. I've seen people commenting about how they have come out of negativity, improved their relationships, how they start their life, not just with coffee, but with your words. Can you walk us through a few experiences or stories that you can share today with us? Okay, so uh, I, I think I'm, uh, uh, first I would like to be really, really thankful to all the people who have actually given me tremendous support because, uh, um, you know, whenever you start a journey, uh, people are skeptical about you. They, you know, they don't know you. Correct. But over a period of time, I have actually found such a huge support from, uh, you know, everyone. And when they share their experiences, actually, that motivates me that, you know, uh, you know, it is making a difference. So my, you know, journey is actually creating an impact on someone's life. That's true. Um, That's true. I think there is one particular um, person who actually, uh, you know, send me a message. And I do get a lot of messages. I get about 100 messages a day. And I wow. do answer each person. Wow. Yeah, That's because, uh, you know, I, I, feel, I feel it's a big responsibility. And I try, I take it as a big responsibility. Mm. And I try to do, you know, as much as I can. Mm. So this person sent me um, a photograph. And he has put a photograph of his mother. And he put a photograph of me next to it. Wow, okay. And he wrote that, you know, there's a mother who obviously shows a direction. Mm. But you have taken that, uh, you know, um, that honor in my life that, you know, you are giving me a direction. So you are comparable to my mother. That's really big. That's really big. Mm. And, and that was actually very touching because, you know, inspiring someone, you know, in your day-to-day -day life is different. But someone honoring you. Uh, you know, keeping you at par with your mother is, I think, it's a it's big difference. I think that comes up with the responsibility, as you said. So how, how do you think you're going to have that responsibility going with such uh, distractions in life, uh, you know, the number of social media channels and, the, and 24 hours is not enough for a day. So how do you think you're going to be responsible? Today, you're going to get 100 people and tomorrow you might get 1000 messages. So how are you going to manage it? See, so far, like with my growing, you know, uh, following, I have been tried, you know, I have managed it really well to cope up with it. Um, and I try to answer every day. But uh, I, as I said before, I just take life as it comes. Uh, I know it's going to grow bigger. Um, and I think, uh, um, you know, if uh, it happens, there will be uh, some facilitation somewhere will happen in my life as well. We'll I will be able to, you know, handle that. Um, and coming back to responsibility, I do get a lot of people wanting me to have a YouTube channel or, you know, um, you know, other platforms. My, oh, the only thing is that I want to commit to something which I can fulfill. Beautiful. So if, if I cannot fulfill, you know, I can't, I don't want to get into it. Um, so, so coming back to time, you know, 24 hours, uh, um, really I'm incorporating already a lot in it. Mm. Um, so in future, you know, things, uh, uh, if, if something comes up and I'm able to do it and commit to it, I will surely do it. That's excellent. Are there any specific takeaway for the listeners here? You, know, you started with um, getting up early in the morning, having the rituals going, have a thinking about what you're going to do. 
And is there any specific takeaway that you wanted to give audience at this point in time? I think I would just say that, you know, um, we should live truly. Mm. We should be true to ourselves. Mm. We should be true to others. And we should be true to whatever we are doing in our lives. Because that is going to bring us the real satisfaction. Beautiful. That nicely answered. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. And Bhavna, can you walk us through the book that you have written and uh, what is that all about and how can people benefit by reading through the book that you have written so far? So my book, which I actually published in January this year, uh, it's actually a compilation of uh, my thoughts, which I already had written. Uh, and the reason I had to do it because a lot of people were missing on my, you know, quotations or posts, which I posted before. True. So I thought it would be a good idea to put some of my thoughts together in one piece. Yeah. So it's easy for people to read it. Um, Where they can access that information. So they can, uh, it's uh, available on Amazon and also they can go on my website and uh, they can access it from there. Okay. So what's your website? Uh, it's www.bhavnagotham.com. Excellent. Excellent. So I have my personal experience here, Bhavna. I actually downloaded your book. And you know, what I do is that every day I just randomly open any particular page and start reading it. And amazingly, it connects so well with what I'm going through. Like in spite of like you write on so many different topics, but so I just pick up any random page and just read it. And that works so beautifully. So I think it'll be really good for our viewers also to download and just go through the book. That's yeah, and I think uh, you're very right. Yeah, most of the feedback which I get and uh, is about that I connect with them well. And that's because most of my writings are about life. It is about day-to-day -day life because it comes from my own experience. And I feel that our experiences are somewhere interconnected. You know, we go through similar sort of experiences in one or another way. And uh, through my writings, I think people feel that, you know, they're going through a similar situation and connect and that helps them to connect with me. I'm actually tempted to say that you're, you're better off a psychologist or a psychiatrist versus being a Is that true? <laughs> Have you ever thought about it? <laughs> a lot of people actually think that I am a psychiatrist, science psychologist. Um, I feel that to connect with people, you don't need a, like a qualification. You just need a understanding heart. That's well said again. <laughs> <laughs> I also realized that there's another book coming as well. So can you walk us through that? Yeah, so uh, this book is actually an interesting book. It's uh, called um, Ancient Mind in Modern Body. Wow, okay. This is, uh, uh, this is actually just me. And I, I'll, I'll tell you about it. So, I, you know, being a dentist or being a business person, I've got a person inside me mm. who is, uh, you know, focusing on growing the business. So business means trading, you know, so you're trading your services for something, you know, in return of it. Yeah. While the other person inside me, which is more spiritual person, it wants to inspire, but it does not have any expectation. It doesn't expect anything. So, you know, the two people inside you, they, they come into conflict sometimes, you know, because you're trying to have two people from different ends, two different ends, and they are, they are still inside you. So where you can actually bring them together, so they both unify and they are at peace with each other because it is very difficult to have that particular balance. And I, I, I used to face this challenge a lot and I still face it. Yeah. And I thought that there will be a lot of people in the similar situation. So I thought that, you know, putting my ideas into a book where, you know, I can put down how to have those values in your life, but still be able to survive in this world, you know, the materialistic world. That is really awesome. And are there any specific tidbits that you wanted to give away for people today in terms of how do they, you know, in fact, I get the same. It's, it's exactly like how the mind and the heart um, you know, collide at some point in time and they're trying to see what is the best way to go forward. Are there any specific tidbits that you wanted to share with people? <laughs> I think we should call. all, <laughs> I think uh, we should all live consciously, um, whether it is your work, whether you are in, uh, you know, a part of the materialistic world or whether you are, you know, on a spiritual journey, if you live consciously, you will never be wrong. And I think that's what I do, you know, in any role which I'm playing, I just try to live consciously. And when you live consciously, you will just get there. Even, you, if you, even if there is a difficult situation, 
you will overcome it because you know end of the day you need to have satisfaction in your own heart so would you recommend like uh, living consciously would be kind of one of the tips that you would like to give it to the audience to have absolutely. a happy life absolutely you know your life can only be happy if you're satisfied you mm. can have any amount of wealth but you won't find a satisfaction unless you are really you know satisfied in what you're doing and that satisfaction yeah. comes only when you are true in your life mm. and you're living consciously that's a great message i think move on moving on to how uh, people can expect your book coming up so is that coming up very uh, you know very quickly or is it something that you are thinking about release <laughs> Uh, i think that book uh, will take some time um as we talked about you know with the limitation of time as well plus i think um i do want to mention that i write you know from my heart and soul so i can't just sit and write start writing it has to connect with me because whatever i write is you know deep from within mm. uh, and that's why you know i need to have proper mindset i need to have proper time to do it so i think it will take some time but it will be there and i think it will be helpful for everyone looking forward to that <laughs> all right so we've got uh, the other topic around um, you know we briefly touched upon this topic you know how does one find their purpose in life and uh, how they become successful and all that uh, are there any tips for people to find their purpose in life because that's where we got to basically start young and if i find it young then it becomes much more easier for me to navigate with that one vision in mind in your case it's two vision in in your mind you know, talk <laughs> about this materialistic world versus the non materialistic aspirations and similar to what we are doing today we are just doing this for learning at the same time passing something beneficial for the community so how does one purpose uh, find their purpose in life and how how can they do it early If I have to say it in one line I would say that you will find your purpose in your passion. You know we all have unique abilities. We all have something you know which makes us different from each other. Mm. You know so I I always feel that uh, God had a purpose to create each one of us. True. And we have to just find that purpose. So if you want to find your pur- uh, you know purpose or you want to uh, you know no way your life ultimately needs to be mm. you need to find out something which you are really passionate about A- and for that you have to you know separate yourself from the chaos of life you need That's to right. really have a relaxed state of mind the mood clutter and absolutely early in the morning start thinking about what you wanted to do yeah what are you basically uh, your likes and dislikes maybe absolutely. write it down and maybe that's that's one of the ways with which we can go towards finding a passion and then once yeah. we find a passion as you say we will know the purpose what that's we- right and and as you start to follow your passion you will start to get a satisfaction which you would have never got doing anything else and and that will you know sort of give you more confidence that you know this is my purpose and the other thing is that you know like you are doing podcasting because you know as we you want to make a difference i'm doing the writing because i want to make a difference yeah so i feel that no matter what your purpose is the ultimate aim or ultimate goal is mm-hmm. to make a difference or is to uh, you know is human kind mm-hmm. yep so in a way our purpose meet no matter what path you follow that's true that's true <laughs> it's very interesting <laughs> you say that in, that's how we found you as well you know having that common connect of making making an impact that's right which is that's i see that that's what i said you know uh, i want to go go with the flow of life so I, you know i i never had never met you before but yeah. we sort of connected because you know i feel that people who have same thought process yeah they meet somewhere that's true very interesting <laughs> do you look up to anyone who's your guru mentor coach i will say my experiences mm. my whole uh, um, you know journey of my life is my greatest coach mm. and i think i have i always uh, you know any experience of my life i live very closely yeah i try to learn from it and i think your own learnings are your you know biggest um um coach because 
no one can teach you more than your own experiences. That's true. That's true. But do you think, what is your suggestion of having a coach and mentor? So do you think it's going to help us? And in my case, I'm, I'll be honest, I've been, uh, I got around two or three mentors who guide me in the field where I like uh, to experiment, learn more. And I also have coach who continuously challenged me in terms of what I'm doing and why am I doing that. Do you think it's actually necessary to follow specific set of uh, you know, mentors and coaches based on your navigation and how you want to see through the life? Or do you think just the experience will actually take you there? Mm-hmm. Okay, so I, I feel that uh, you know it's always good to know everyone's perspective. So I don't limit myself to, you know, okay, this is my experience and this is what I'm going to follow. Mm. Obviously, you know, I listen to everyone mm. and then I need to make my own judgment. What is, you know, is going to be suitable for my life. Yeah. And That's also good. I think, uh, yeah. So because, you know, um, we all have different, we might be in a similar situation, but not a same solution is going to help each one of us. Mm. You know, we, we might be in the same situation, but to get through it, we need different solution. That's right. And that's what basically exactly it is, you know. You, you should be open to, you know, listen to everyone, to read everything. Mm. But ultimately, you have to make a choice. What do you think you, you want? Because no one knows you better than you know yourself. <laughs> Very true again. <laughs> Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Um, so in terms of uh, the communities and its closing thoughts, what do you need from the community and uh, how, would, how do you think that they can actually reach out to you? So uh, as I said before, I'm actually really grateful for the amount of support I have been getting. And uh, um, I'm really thankful to God as well, mm-hmm. because as I said, I take it as a big responsibility. Mm-hmm. So the one thing I do ask God every day is to give me the strength to continue it. Mm. The strength to continue this journey, which have, which I have started. Mm. Um, I I do want to say that, you know, uh, as anyone else, I'm doing, you know, my life daily routines, you know, all those things which come with your life. Mm. Um, So I don't have like a huge team behind me. Mm. I'm, Mm. I'm the only team member. That's right. So occasionally, you know, there can be chances where I do some mistakes. Mm. Uh, after all, I'm also human. I'm not, uh, I'm not immune to making mistakes. Yeah. Um, so, you know, if they have something, they can, I'm very open to feedbacks. Yeah. So they can, you know, contact me, let me know if something has gone wrong and I'll try to rectify it. Very, very receptive. In fact, I, I would love to close it with uh, Jay Shetty's three E's. Uh, you, you got your energy, you got your environment, you got your element. And if you can try and understand some of those and stitch together, I'm sure you're going to have that impact in people's life. Bama, it's that's awesome. Uh, you're doing a fantastic job in impacting so many people in a more positive way to overcome their challenges in life. I would strongly recommend to our listeners to visit Bhavna's website, the Facebook page or Twitter or the Instagram if you want to really create an impact and a positive one in your life. Thanks, Bhavna, for being with us. It's a real pleasure. Thanks, Bhavna. Thank you for having me.